Yeah, Roger and that, man. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta get, uh, I gotta get better situated with some wants over here. I gotta get better situated with some wants, but, uh, that's all right. Hey, if I can get out there with 20 birds, it's all good, man. If you can hear me with 20 birds, it's all good. I'm just, uh, moving things around, doing some different things, and I'm putting up an Omni, too. I got one in the backyard that sits about four foot off the ground, so... I'm trying to get that up in the air. And uh I'm trying to find a yeah, I'm actually gonna get my Cobra two grand uh back going here for AM. And then I can run my uh at least run some a little bit of juice. I'll be able to run a little bit of juice then. But uh all right, three five seven, take care. I'll bump it on you later. Your homeboy way out west, walking on through. All right, 357. Yeah, there's getting to be some traffic out here, homeboy. But, uh, all right, man. Well, hey, homeboy, I'll get back with you, man. And you sounded good, looking good. Up here in Northern Cal. Up here around my beautiful Golden Gate Bridge. 357, 4040, out here around the dock of the bay. Sitting in the morning sun. <laughs> Bum it on you later, homeboy. I'm in the clear. I'll see you. John at three five seven. Sitting in the morning sun. I'll be waiting till the evening comes. Watching the ships roll in. Then I watch them roll away again. <laughs> Alright, homeboy, take care. Forty forties in the clear. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Oh, yeah, man, that can't be can't sing. That John Denver down there in San Diego, that can't be can't sing. Mm, mm, mm. He can't do a whole lot of things. But I'm going to leave that alone, 357. I'm going to leave that alone. But he can... He can't do a whole lot of things, but I'm going to leave that alone. I'm gone. <laughs> I'll see ya. Mark, 
And I heard that 357. Well, he sure won't be making his way to Music City. He sure won't be making his way to Music City. That's for doggone sure, man. He won't be making his way to Music City. And if he does, I hope he takes that little private plane again. I hope he jumps on that little private plane again. You know what I'm talking about. Because Lord knows I need another John Denver pickle foot. <laughs> Put on you later, 357. I'm going to quit being mean. I'm going. <laughs> well, I don't guess, old man, 844, you spoke the truth, man. You spoke the truth. I heard a whole lot of bragging up on 28. I heard a huge voice of California and all this and that. But what I'm saying now is about the best condition. I shall out. I shall out from time to time. But we just see on that. I understand that. But the proof's in the pudding. I like how you roll those water gates. 3540, 357, we're stopping. Yeah, right, John, I have 357. Yeah, I just, uh, I just out here have some fun, you know what I mean? Having some fun, man. I'm getting ready to, uh, go up with a new beam. And, uh, I'm getting a couple more watts. And I got a, I got a guy, man, he's a contractor. I'm looking into uh, to dropping some more power into the house. I'm looking into dropping a little bit more power into the house from the pole. So I'm looking into that right now, man, and uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see what time it is in the world of sound. So I'm definitely going to make my adjustments, man. I'd say by uh, it's been March, a April, April, around April time, yeah. Right around April, I should be uh, pretty damn 10-8 there, Roger. Yeah, I heard. I think it was going on. My tag team partner was telling me you were fixing to step up, man. No doubt about it. And cruise about five bushels, man. But with the doggone uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday night, man, it's going to be about 15 bushels, man. Nobody up. At least no I'm good now. Yeah, right, John. Yeah, usually I just push uh, 200 bird, man. Usually I just push 200 bird, maybe swinging 500 bird. That's usually what I do, man. That's usually what I do over here, but uh, I'm definitely getting ready to make some major changes. Major changes, and I'm stretching my boom out a whole lot longer, man. I'm going to stretch my boom out a whole lot longer, and I'm getting ready to put some serious, uh, some watts in the wire. So, man, <clears throat> let's see, man. I'm, I'm talking about April, right around April, into April there, Roger. Hey, 44, you'll be ready for that doggone summer DX, man. You'll be ready for that summer cycle. You'll be ready for that summer cycle, man, no doubt about it. You're going to stretch that boom out besides, ho, 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 you're going to be hard to deal with, man. Between the lots and that boom, you're going to be hard to deal with. I'm fix fixing to make another change over here also, probably sometime in the summer. I'm going to take these little drill down. They're sitting at 74, it's a little on two, two vertical and two horizontal. I'm going to put a set of lightning forwards up quads and see what they do. I'm sure she just should help me out a little bit there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, right, and, and I might go to a quad, too, man. I'm definitely, uh, a quad might be in the, the future for me. I'm just trying to decide, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to do. But, uh, I'm kind of strapped for room a little bit, so I got some dimensions I can work with. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to fill in as much as I can. But I should, uh... I should be able to throw down pretty hard, man. I should be able to throw down pretty hard. Like I said, man, I probably just cruise about a bushel or two out there. But I stretch that boom out, man. It's going to make a big difference. It'll make a big difference when I stretch the boom out. So, you know, I don't have to do a whole lot of wants. 
But if I need it, it will be there for me there, Roger. I really want a quad. I mean, I'm seriously looking at that Cubex quad. Definitely want to do a quad, but I live in suburbia. You dig what I'm saying, bro? So if I stretch my boom out and put a quad, bro, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to fly around here. Now, my antenna I got now, man, you really can't see it because I only got it 12 foot off the roof. And you really can't see it till you get right up on my house. You know what I mean? Because it's so flat. But uh, if I put a quad up there, man, you know what I mean? I, and I'd love to have the quad. But uh, I just, you know what I'm saying? I want to stay, you know, stay low profile, too. But I want to stretch the boom out. So I think I'm just going to go with the Yagi, stretch the boom out. I want to make sure that Yagi, I'm floating them elements out there with the direct, uh, direct fed there, Roger. Never heard myself like that. Never heard myself like that. Yagi skippers. Look at this modulator out of the big horn. 247 down south, standing by. All right, man. Well, let me get back with you, 357. Hey, 357, I'm going to jump out of here for a little bit. 357, you're home, boy. I'm in the clear. 